What's up, everybody? Calvin Bui of FK and Delicious, and today we're in Saigon, Vietnam. This is a new series I'm calling Calvin Eats Vietnam. I take you around Vietnam and eat with a hundred thousand, with a hundred thousand VND. Now, a hundred thousand VND is four dollars. That is production value. A hundred thousand VND equates to be about four dollars and ten cents. Today, we're going to be having Bun Rieu. Now, Bun Rieu is a tomato and crab noodle soup. Don't worry about him. He's all good. Uh, but this is Hanoian style. This is a northern style bun ryu. Now, we're going to do a comparison in what's different between a northern style bun ryu and a southern style bun ryu. We'll do the southern style in another episode, but today we'll be focusing on the northern style bun ryu. So let's go inside, let's find a table somewhere, and let's go. Hi, let's go. Lấy một tô đặc biệt nhé. Tô đặc biệt. All right, so here is the menu. Come on in. So this is the menu. It's really simple. There are three sizes of bowls here. Now this is the tong on mien, which is delicious. There is another one called tô đầy đủ, which is everything. But then we got the big one. We get the tô đặc biệt. We also got mơ, nước mơ, which is a Vietnamese style apricot. So we'll just wait here. The bowl comes out. As you can see, to the camera around, this is a place that is really uh, family driven. It's Sunday morning right now. People are lining up. There is no AC here. You sit on these little uh, wooden benches and tables. And uh, you know, life in Vietnam is really, really simple, but it's really, really amazing. Now, the nuk ma is the first thing we'll start off with here. These are the dried Vietnamese apricots. A lot smaller than what we find in the Western world. And um, this, again, this is a very Hanoian drink. We're, we're eating Hanoian food here. Oh, sweet, sour, refreshing. Yeah, nice. That's cool. Yeah, this is, this is really what Vietnam's all about. Saying hi to a neighbor's kid. Oh, come on, yeah. That's the amazing part about Vietnam, right? You are literally within the arm's length. And, you know, kids in Vietnam, they're not so scared about what's going on in the world. Their parents teach them from a young age good and bad people. And here he is over here. He's going to be the next YouTube star when he grows up. Good mom. Nope. 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 That's right. <laughs> oh, look at that. Man, yeah. Oh, now look at this bowl. It is truly different than the moon reel in the south. You have yaw, which is the steamed pork loaf. And you'll notice that this is more like a oval. It's more round than the chan luo that we had earlier. Then after that, you have mop. Mop is basically a pork mi pho. That. Okay. Then you have no hu. So they have tofu in here, but it's fried tofu. You got bò tai, which is sliced beef. Now you don't see sliced beef in southern style bun ryu. But in the north, they have uh, sliced beef. Now, for the surprise here, chung bit lo. People are like, well, in the Western world, I have no idea what chung bit lo is. Let me tell you what chung bit lo is. And you only see it in the north. You don't see it in southern style bun ryu. Oh, shoot. This is chung bit lo. This is a fetal duck egg. Now, this is the yolk. I break it open. You will see, that's the yolk. This is the membrane. If you break it open, you will see there is a baby duck in there. I'm going to try to be very careful here to pull it out. You see the head? I don't want to. Let me just pull the head out. You see the head? You see a claw? You see a beak? Oh, there we go. Here we go. That is a fetal duck egg. This is a baby duck that hasn't been hatched yet. Now, the problem I'm gonna say, how do you eat that? 
It is absolutely delicious. Delicious. And again, this is Moonryu Hanoi style. This is Moonryu Tapma. Tapma. Oh, these. Come here. Come here. These beautiful chicharoni. These are beautiful fried pork skin. This really makes the dish. Now, this is how I eat my Moonryu. You don't have to do it the way I do, but let me tell you how I do it. I'm going to start. And I don't need to taste this. I eat it all the time. So I know how it tastes. I'm going to start off with this pickled garlic. And I'm just going to pour in the pickling liquid. Right? That's going to bring the, the nice acidiness. It's going to bring a nice bite. That is pickled garlic. Start that in first. Then, go right into the satay. Now, camera operator, come in here. This is beautiful. That satay is what it what it makes children into men. I'm gonna go for one, two big spoons of satay. And in the south, they love putting mum thom into the moon reel. For me, I don't want a lot of mum thom. I don't want that really fishiness. I want to really keep this here. So I'm not going to even touch the mum thom on this one. On the side here, you have some lettuce. You have some Vietnamese coriander called rau rum. You have some uh, lotus root that they slice up. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, Baikon. Hello, Baikon. <laughs> okay. Okay, so how do I eat this? Just by tasting the broth first, you really get a chance to to, to taste Moon Ryu Hanoi style. That's so good. It tastes like seafood. It tastes like pork. It tastes nothing like the southern style of Moon Ryu. Which I really like. I remember first time I had this in Hanoi. Because I grew up on the southern style. I never really understood, like, why is it so different? Why is the flavor uh, so more mellow, so more uh, pork forward? I fell in love with it. Ever since then, I really, <laughs> ooh, it's hot. I really only eat a Hanoi style bunryo. You got some beef slices, noodles here. Um, I can't get everything on a bowl, on a spoon, so I'm gonna pick and uh, eat at the same time. Cheers. Mmm. Noodles, beef, a little bit of tofu. Mmm. Delicious. And that satay, that satay does wonders. All right, let me go one more bite here. This time I'm gonna get a little bit of jazz. A little bit of jazz. I'll get some um, tapma, which is the chicharonis. And then um, I'll say the last bite for the uh, field duck egg. I'm gonna go with a bunch of noodles here. Get my broth ready. Cheers. That's so good. Okay. I'm going to talk the chicharonis. Mm. Now, if you don't like too much spice, don't put so much satay in. I love spice. You watch this channel for the last three years, you'll know that I love spice. Um, for the Paris, by all means, don't put anything at all. Put a little pick of garlic. But I eat here probably three times a week. And so I don't even know what it tastes like. Now, let me go find that peel duck egg for you guys so that we can eat that. And um, that's jazz. That is the yolk. Well, that's the white part of the egg or the peel duck egg. This is the yolk. Where'd the body go? Did I 
Oh, here's the head. Oh, let me try it. Mm, that was a head. I might have, I might have killed the baby duck egg. Oh, my bad. Oh, no. I think it, I think it disintegrated within this whole noodle soup. No problem at all. Bam. This is, this is Cal Man Eats Vietnam. This is how we eat. There are no second takes in life. There are no second takes in food. So here's the last bite. Noodles, um, tofu, chicharrones, everything. Mm. There's a little bit of the duck egg left in there. <clears throat> oh, so good. A little bit of greens. <clears throat> Finish off with a little bit of the apricot drink. Oh, that, that is a true Hanoian breakfast. Absolutely demolish that bowl of Hanoian style bun burrito. There is nothing left. Maybe uh, some of the white part of the duck egg, a little bit of noodle, but everything is gone. That was an incredible breakfast. When you're inside gone, check out this restaurant. It is called Go, go Hung Mao, which is, it means a woman named Hung who is chubby or fat. That's what it says. I mean, Mao really means just like chubby or fat. Um, this bowl, which was the Tho Da was 65,000 VND. That equates to be about $2.67. Uh, the drink was Nuk Ma, 15,000. That drink was somewhere in that 60 cent range. Oh, absolutely delicious. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, comment if you ever had Hanoian style moon reel, and if so, what did you think about it? If you like the series, Calvin Eats Vietnam, consider donating $1, $2, $5, $10, $50, or even $100. I'll leave the QR code right here. And, uh, it's with your donation that we're able to go all around Vietnam and eat this amazing Vietnamese food and really support small businesses like Go Hung Bao. Go Hung Bao. <laughs> if you ever said gone, you want to go eat at Go Hung Bao, I'm going to add just right down here. You can check them out. With that being said, my name is Calvin Guru, a.k.a. Captain Charisma. I'll see you next time. Peace! <laughs>